everyone and welcome back to another Years in Hub reaction video. Today we are continuing with our series where we take a look at some entries from countries who no longer take part in the Eurovision Song Contest. Very sad. And today, it's the turn of Slovakia. But as usual guys, before we get into this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of our new content coming your way. Now, without further ado, let's go! This is 1994, one of my favourite years, and I don't remember this at all. Hey, I know this one. Ooh. Of course I do. It's Soft Rock from 1994. Four. I can't concentrate. I'm literally in love with this guy's white jacket. Come on, tassels for days. I generally love every 1994 song, but this one is one of the weakest. Ah, this is so cute. I, I, I can adore this. Hair, tassels, I'm here for it. And thank God France gave two points in the last voting to Spain because we were going to be relegated and they got relegated instead. It's a head bopper and a foot topper like it's going, but... Okay, no, there's actually no buts. This is fine. I like the song. I think it's decent. This is actually so nice. I didn't expect to like a ballad like this, but... It's actually pretty good. Dame Bowers for Slovakia, who knew? It's just like calm, on and build or lift or... I love the melody, but his voice is not really good. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know this one, but I'm pleased. Well, that didn't do anything for me. I'm sorry. I feel like this has a lot of potential to be really good. But it's just ain't for me. Nineteen ninety-eight. Remember this? I was there. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, I love this one. Yes. Oh wait, I know this one. Nineteen ninety-eight was the year for Eurovision again a couple of weeks ago. I, I know this one. Do I like it though? Mm. I actually like this song, and I loved her dress. This is also so beautiful. What is happening? I'm liking all these ballads. <laughs> Why is every song called Molibba or Modiba amazing? I hate to say I didn't realize this was Slovakia. There you go. I think this is my favorite Slovakian entry. <sighs> but I could see, like, I don't know if I would listen to this song a lot. How do I not remember this though? Like it's 2009, like by this stage I was fully invested and I don't want to say, oh that's why I don't remember it because it's not good, but like, how do I not remember you? I didn't feel anything for it back in 2009, but I mean, it's a really good song. Her voice? Yes, vocals! Oh yes, this one was very dramatic. Ooh, that female voice, wow. They don't belong together vocally, like they don't. And she, she, I mean, it misses. Just because she can doesn't mean you should. Whoa, how does she hit that note? To me, it's a bit screechy. <laughs> It's the song with the title that I can never say. Hurry, hurry. I love Hurry, Honey. I don't say it right and I'm fully aware that I'm not pronouncing it right, but oh. I quite like this and I like the um, woodland fairy, woodland fairy theme. Ooh. Okay, this is a big fan favorite and of course I can see why. Oh, this is a classic, even though I can't say it. <laughs> Hurry, horror, no. Why this, didn't this qualify? I still can't believe it didn't make it to the final. Oh, you don't know how much I appreciate the fact that Slovakia brought us a concept that year. Look at the dancers, look at the costumes, listen to those sounds. You hear the ethnic vibes and like, I wake up when I hear the ethnic vibes. I love everything, the song, the performance, everything is amazing. I like the drums in the back. And we've got a bit of ribbonography going on. 
はい It's quite ironic that their best placing is this weak and bland song. I actually don't mind the song, but I just, even listening to it now, I just can't stop thinking that this, it doesn't sound finished, like production wise, this doesn't sound finished, it's empty, it needs to be fuller. This is just cliche to me. I am not a fan of this. They look very similar to Samantha Janus's outfits from 1991. For God's sake, no, <laughs> no. It's 2011, sounds like it's 2005. Oh, this is awesome. Bit of paro, matching dresses. The blandest performance ever. I like the fact that we're getting something different each time. I am a bit, oh, <laughs> what do we got now? Are they twins? I guess in 2011, there was only room for one set of twins in the final, sorry, Slovakia. Nice! Ah, oh my god! So now we've got some rock, and we, we do like a bit of rock at Eurovision. Do we like this one? Personally, not really. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to say that I'm a huge rock fan. I'm not, but I do think the contest is missing more entries like this. It just adds a bit more versatility, doesn't it? Great song! Yes, Slovakia! Good. Ah! I'm sorry, I can't help it. I look like I'm having a fit, but I'm actually enjoying it. Why didn't they qualify all these years? Like, they were pretty good to me. This is honestly one of the worst vocal performances ever in Eurovision. You know what? I'll give it up to Slovakia for being so diverse in their performing acts. Like, each one of these entries was different from the other, you know? What a terrible ending. Ah! God! Was that the last word? No! <laughs> I'm shocked, like, I didn't expect to like so many of these entries. Oh, Slovakia. If there's one thing I will take away from watching that video is that they really did take risks. That was really quick! They did make an impression while they were here, though. That's what we thought. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Until the next video, bye! Hurry, 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 hurry.